Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris and today I am going to be bringing a video that uh, I kind of just came off on a whim. I didn't expect this to happen, but as of recently, I have been able to get my scuff controller and more specifically the scuff vantage i've been able to get this controller to work on pc as far as i know now i can go ahead and say i've only tested this on games in battle.net and in steam so any other games i have not tested but i can sort of confirm that if your game is a game that's on blizzard launcher or in Steam that has controller support, then it should work. And just to show that I have the controller actually plugged in, I'm going to open up Steam, go into settings, and then go into general controller settings. And as you can see, the, detec the detected controller is the scuff controller. So that's that. So we're going to back out of there. And then what we're going to do first off is we're going to download the latest version of DS4 Windows. Now, this is really tricky because there's currently two versions of DS4 Windows. If you just search DS4 Windows, it will give you, it'll most likely give you the oldest version, which is the J2 Kings version. And the current version that's currently being updated is this one. So you would search DS4 Windows, Real Chan 7, and I'm actually going to leave the link to this actual download in the description below, so you don't even have to search that, but this is just so you know, if you're looking for the latest version of DS4 Windows, it's the Real Chan version. So click on that link, download, and version 1.65 is the most updated version, and this is the version that I was able to get DS4 Windows to work. Now, a few other things that I kind of want to just throw out there. First, the computers that I've tested this on are Windows 10 computers. So I have not tested this on Windows 8, 7, any of the older versions of Windows. I've only tested this on Windows 10. So if you don't have a Windows 10 computer, your mileage may vary. But you're going to open it up and this is gonna vary for person, but I just, you just want to extract the folder wherever and you're going, when I show the install, you're not going to do an app data install, you're going to do a program folder install. Now I've extracted my folder and I've moved it to my documents. I just like having it in my document section, but you're going to run the DS4 Windows program and give more info, run anyway. So here you're going to want to select program folder. Do not select app data. There's been issues with doing the app data version. And as you can see here, this, this controller, the lights on and it's showing up in DS4 windows as this. Okay. So before I get into testing the games, I did miss a step because unfortunately I did already install DS4 windows on my computer. Um, but the first thing that should happen when you're first installing DS4 Windows on your computer is you should get this driver, uh, window. So the first thing that you would do is first install the DS4 driver. And I'm actually going to disconnect my controller because if you have this on while your controller is connected, it's going to not work. So the first thing you're going to do is install the drivers. And then after that's done that's basically all you got to do you're not because this doesn't work bluetooth yet so that uh that's not something that you have to worry about so you can just hit finish and then when it shows up in ds4 windows when it's hit on start then you can plug in your controller and there's a slight delay between plugging in the controller and working but when it says the control is using the profile that's how you know that the game that's how you know that the controller is plugged in and it's working on your computer so now we're actually going to go into some gameplay okay so I'm back and after a bit of troubleshooting I have uh, a little bit more info for you guys so 
The main thing that you want to look at when you have DS4 Windows and when you have your scuff connected to the controller and when you have your scuff connected to your computer is you want to go into your log, which is basically the last tab in your DS4 Windows settings, and you want to make sure when it's plugged in, it says that it's found the controller. It's found your controller and it's plugging in X360 controller. When it shows that it's plugging in X360 controller, that's when you know that the computer is recognizing your scuff. And it basically what it's doing is it's mimicking an Xbox 360 controller. The other way you can check that is in Steam settings. And there you go. The Xbox 360 controller is showing up there as well. So now we are actually going to be testing some games with this setup. All right, now we are in Destiny 2, and as you guys can see, I am moving my radical around. And just so you guys can see, I have my controller, and my controller is working for the game. And you can tell it's the PC version because I do have the FPS counter in the top right. So, if there's any doubt that I'm not using the PC version of the game, that is the main way to indicate. So, everything works. Guns, switching guns, things like that. And everything is functioning the way it should. So... There's not much else to go off of this other than it works. And I'm actually playing the game on PC with the scuff bandage. Now, just to... I'm going to go through a few other games. So the next game I'm going to try is Overwatch. It's also going to be on the Blizzard app. But then after that, I'm going to try some Steam games and show the controller working in that. Alright, so we're in Overwatch, and as you guys can see, I am able to use my controller in the game. And, uh, yeah, so, we'll just, moving that around, and it's working, so. Everything can be hacked. For the most part, any other game that works with DS4 Windows, as long as the game can work for DS4 Windows, it should be able to detect the controller as long as it's detecting it as a uh, as long as it's detecting it as a uh, what's the word the Xbox 360 controller that's the key because I was actually testing this out and my issue that I was having was that it wasn't detecting my controller as it wasn't detecting my controller but it was connecting to DS4 the issue is it has to be it's weird because it has to show up as a 360 controller the only way this is able to work on PC is by it showing up as a 360 controller but that's basically all there is to this so we're gonna go ahead now and switch over to Borderlands all right so we're in Borderlands 2 and this is a game on Steam as you guys see controller go ahead hit continue works perfectly fine so this is really cool if you guys have a if you guys have a scuff controller or a scuff vantage and you want to use it on pc and actually it is you can't see it in game i don't know if i can that will pick up in the microphone but the rumbles actually do work as well so that's kind of interesting. I found that out by accident when I was playing Overwatch. But, yeah, so your controller will work in pretty much any game that supports it when you're using it in DS4 Windows. So now, the last thing I'm going to do is just go through some of the optimal settings that I like to use in uh, DS4 Windows. Okay, so we are in DS4 Windows. Now, one thing I wanted to note is that you do actually have uh, the ability to customize the light on the controller. So, if you go here, 
You can use a custom color, so I'm gonna do red, and it does change to red. I'm gonna do yellow, and it kind of changes to yellow. I don't think yellow shows up that well. I'm gonna do, it's back to blue, and I'm gonna do green. Yep. But yeah, we're gonna go back to blue. Now, in the settings, the one thing you want to take note of is I personally don't like using my touchpad as a mouse. I like using it as regular controls. And the other thing that happens when you do that is you have the option to basically use it as your back button. That's how it usually runs in PlayStation 4. So there's four different settings. So you have your left touch, your right touch, your multi-touch, and your upper touch. I set all of those to use the back button in the Xbox 360 controller. And that way, just make sure that no matter where you are on the touchpad, when you press it, that it activates as a, it activates as a, uh, the back button. Now, the other thing is this mouse sensitivity. Now, I have had some instances where my right stick will act as the mouse. So the one major way that I get that to not happen at all is I turn the mouse sensitivity all the way to zero. And I turn mouse acceleration off. And then that way, there shouldn't be any way that your right stick acts as a mouse cursor. So that's really all there really is to it. Uh, that's at the idle disconnect at 10. Um, and turn the Bluetooth uh, pull rate to one. And uh, I only use that when I'm using my scuff impact, but the scuff, uh, pretty much the scuff advantage won't work in Bluetooth mode because it's still like scuff doesn't have official PC drivers to get it to work. Um, but yeah. So conclusion, when trying to use the Scuff Vantage on PC, um, you want to use DS4 Windows. When you install it, you want to install it as a program folder and not as app data. You want to install all the drivers and then when it plugs into your controller or when you plug your controller into your PC, you want to make sure that it shows up in the log as saying X360 controller is connected. If it doesn't show that an X360 controller is connected, then it will not work. But if it shows this, it should work. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, if there's any issues that you guys have, just another reminder, I am using this on Windows 10. Um, Windows 8, Windows 7, I'm not 100% sure if those work on there. If it works on Windows 7, you might have to install the Xbox 360 drivers, which is another thing that you can do. Um, when you're just installing the drivers, you can do this step two to install the 360 drivers on Windows 7. So if you guys do have a Windows 7 computer and you wanna test that out, feel free. Um, but I cannot guarantee that that will work on Windows 7. I can only guarantee that this will work on Windows 8. If for some reason you already have DS4 Windows installed on your computer and it doesn't show your controller as an X360 controller and it only shows the controller one, I would try and go through your computer, delete every single folder of DS4 Windows that you have. And if you have it as app data, then I would, I would look up how to delete your DS4 Windows through app data because that is something that I'm not 100% sure on, but delete every single version of DS4 Windows, install the 1.65 version, the link will be in the description below again, and run that through the way that I showed in the video, and it should work. So there you go. I can't 100% guarantee it, but from the three computers that I've tested it on, it seems to work pretty fine. So. Yep, that's that nothing but good things for that. So uh, that's all I have for this video. 
I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below telling me if this worked. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, this is Chris, and I'll see you later.